Pollution and strong arm land grabs are putting the lifeline for Kolkata's 14 million residents at risk. Wetlands outside this eastern Indian city used to provide food in plenty and jobs in abundance. Not anymore. The threat because of rapid urbanization is now real. এখন সে তুলনায় লোকসংখ্যা বেশি হয়েছে লোকসংখ্যা বেশি হওয়ার জন্য প্রকৃতির উপর একটি চাপ পড়ছে নোংরা হয়ে যাচ্ছে যে কারণেই প্রোডাকশানটা কমছে প্রকৃতি সমস্ত কিছু নষ্ট করে ফেলছে এরা আমরা নিজেরাই নষ্ট করে ফেলছি এগুলো আস্তে আস্তে Every day, 910 million litres of nutrient-rich sewage flow into the wetland, feeding a network of about 250 hyacinth-covered ponds. Once the fish have had their fill, the water runoff irrigates surrounding rice paddies and the remaining organic waste fertilizes vegetable fields. This worked well. But gangs who have an eye on the land net the ponds at night to steal the fish leaving farmers with little option but to close and sell jodi sei utpadan ba production ta kome jay tale automatic manusher proti manusher kintu mach chashe proti onihata chole ashe iccha ta ar thake na ebong sei jaga theke age amader dekhte hobe je production ta koto hocche ei jalomite production er upori kintu manush beche ache ebong production er upori kintu ajke mach chash ta beche thakbe According to a 2017 University of Calcutta study, the wetland system processes about 60% of Kolkata sewage free of charge, saving the city over 64 million dollars a year. Farms in the wetlands provide about 150 tons of vegetables daily, 10,500 tons of fish annually, and employ tens of thousands of people, it estimates. Yeah, this East Kolkata wetland has got a nickname called Kidney of Kolkata. For the reason being, uh, this is very unique because the sewage of the city is being naturally treated by these wetlands. It is acting as a, a natural STP, sewage treatment plants at no cost, uh, just by using sunlight. About 95% of the wetlands are in private hands. As land prices surge, environment officials say they have pleaded with people not to fill in the fish ponds to create new building space. But residents say that village councils are being bribed by land-hungry developers. Uh, the, these wetlands are just proximate to the sprawling city, which is rapidly growing uh, one of the metro cities of the uh, country. Uh, encroachment is one threat and uh, these wetlands are not owned by the government. 95% uh, of these wetlands, I'm saying about 12,500 hectares where 110 villages are there. This 95% uh, is owned by the individual farmers or their cooperatives. For Kolkata, on the vast delta where the Ganges River meets the Indian Ocean, the wetlands also provide flood defences for a city facing rising sea levels due to climate change, a value that most people ignore on purpose. What people don't understand is we save, uh, you know, millions of dollars or crores of rupees uh, by just allowing a natural treatment system to treat our wastewater. And because this is unobtrusive, this is not observed, you know, people can't see it. They think that they don't have any duties to understand. Uh, why these wetlands are so precious and why they must be protected. It's because the wetlands protect the city. The community developed system was created by the world's foremost connoisseurs of wastewater wise use and conservation, according to its UN Ramsar listing. The listing warns that it is under intense encroachment stress of urban expansion. But it is under the threat of being leveled off for construction and other purposes. Land Seeding Act, but basically what happened was no demarcation of the uh, amount of land or the area of land owned by the private owner and what amount was owned by the government. This demarcation has not taken place over most of the 
area in the East Kolkata wetlands. The survival of this vast ecosystem that is capable of handling the sewage from the mega city and saving it from floods is under threat. The majority of illiterate and economically backward families are being forced by land mafias to move out of the area to facilitate land development and construction. When the uh, real estate, uh, whether it is small in size or big in size, they come and approach the fisher folk or uh, vegetable cultivators. They say that uh, you know. Uh, take some money and go off the land and because there is a lack of tenurial clarity uh, if some pressure is applied on these people who are cultivating the land because they don't own that land they don't have uh, ownership rights they don't even have well defined livelihood rights therefore if pressure is applied then they go off the land The living, breathing ecosystem aptly named as the kidneys of Kolkata is facing the threat of urbanization and encroachment. It is nothing less than an uphill battle to educate the people living there and stop illegal encroachments and landfills.